Hi folks, this is Dave. Uh, some folks call me the Stamp Slave, and this is uh, just going to be a really quick little video to show you something that Ann came up with um, for how to... Here's a card she made, um, and it's got a little window. If you open it up, you've got the, the sentiment there. Okay, so how do you how do you find a way to punch that in exactly the right spot so that it opens up and shows your uh, your stamp? Okay, so let me just show you uh, what Ann came up with for that. What I've done here is I've gone and used the the paper trimmer, the new Stampin' Up paper trimmer, and I've uh, trimmed this page down, and I also used the scoring blade to set that up. So here's my my card. And I'm going to use the same stamp that she did, the Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> you can see you don't have to have a whole lot of talent to do this. All right. So I'm going to ink this thing up. And I'm going to ink it up pretty good. Okay, maybe more than I would if I were just going to be doing a stamp and not worrying about it. And then I'm going to go and... Just carefully set it down on here, give it a little press, and as soon as I take this thing off, I'm going to slam the lid down and press on it really hard. What I'm trying to do is get an imprint on the other side. And that worked out pretty well, as you can see. Okay, so that imprint there is what I'm going to use for doing my, my punch. And it's, it's not straight, but this is just to give you the idea of what we're doing here. So now I can come in with my punch, and I can uh, I can come in with my punch, and I can line it up because I've got that kind of that negative image, like so, and voila, and voila. Okay, so very simple, just a quick little video. Uh, I thought it was pretty slick when she came up with this. So uh, there you go. I hope that helps some of you. Thanks for for. Uh, Stopping by. Bye now.